Welcome to Research Talk. In this video, we are going to learn another method of measuring reliability in research. So today we are going to talk about split half method of measuring reliability. As the word itself says, split half. So what we do in this method of measuring reliability, we develop a comprehensive test a very lengthy comprehensive test and we split the test in half and then we measure the consistency between the scores of these two tests. So first of all develop a comprehensive test to measure anything. It could be let's say uh, I want to develop a, I'm developing a test to measure let's say critical thinking. Okay. So I developed a comprehensive items, like a list of items. Let's say I develop uh, 50 items scale on a scale, 50 items to measure critical thinking. So what I do, I split this 50 items comprehensive test into half. So let's say the first half is 25 items. The second half, again, 25 items. So what I do, I give these split half, the first 25 half to Let's say I, I, I give it to undergrad student to measure their critical thinking ability. So let's say they score out of 25, which is maximum. They score, let's say, a, a student, let's say, score 20. The other 25, the second half of the test, the other 25 items, let's say the same student score out of 25, let's say 21. Now we, we, we see the consistency between these two scores and you could see 2021, which is pretty close. So in this case, we say there is high uh, consistency, high reliability between these two halves of the same test. If the test score are very different, let's say on the first half of the same test, this person score, uh, let's say 15 on the scale of critical ability. And on the second, this person score, let's say 25 out of 25. Now you see the difference, 15, 25, which is not very consistent. They are not very close. So again, the correlation between these two is not high. And we call it that, uh, that the reliability in this case is low. So that's about split half method of measuring reliability. Let, let's summarize it. So what we do, we develop first a, a very comprehensive list of items and then we split them in half and then we see, we give these two half tests to same participants and we see how the scores are consistent. If there is high consistency, high similarity, then it, this test has high correlation, high reliability and if not, then low reliability. So we, and that's why we call it a split half because we are uh, splitting it in half. So in the previous videos, we covered many uh, methods of, of measuring reliability. We talked about uh, test to retest reliability. We talked about inter-rater reliability. We talked about parallel forms reliability. And in this video, we are talking about a split half reliability. These four methods are used depending on what really fits in uh, a research context. Uh, and, and you can use either of these methods to measure the reliability of your measurement tool. In research, uh, particularly in social science research and in quantitative research, uh, we develop scales, standardized tests or 
scales, questionnaire to measure a social construct could be critical thinking. Uh, let's say a very popular is, is intelligence test. So these tests are used to measure certain construct. And as a researcher or if anybody who is using this test, you need to make sure you, you read and get information about the reliability of these scales, these tests. And make sure you use tests which have high reliability. A test that you implement either in your research or in your classroom or in any other setting to measure any social construct, if it has a low reliability, that's a red flag. Avoid using those tests. Always look for uh, the manual of the test and read what is the reliability of this test, this scale, this questionnaire. So I hope uh, these, um, these concepts that we talked about reliability has helped you to understand in detail. If you got any questions, let me know in comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much and have a good rest of the day. See you again.